continue to follow Hurricane Aaron. The storm expected to track away from the U.S. as it churns through the Atlantic Ocean north of the Caribbean. It's still expected to avoid a direct hit on any land mass, but its outer bands continue to lash the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico with heavy rains and tropical storm force winds. The National Hurricane Center says Aaron will produce life-threatening surf and rip currents along much of the U.S. East Coast and in the Bahamas. First Alert meteorologist Sammy Squire is joining us now with the latest update on Aaron. Sammy. And that's what we could expect too for our coastline, especially with the Treasure Coast. Now, the Palm Beach is a little bit more protected because it hits the Bahamas first, but we are going to be monitoring the chance to see these life threatening rip currents as we head as early as tomorrow. So, looking at the latest update from Hurricane Aaron, it is a Cat 3 hurricane with 125 miles per hour, moving west northwest right around 13 miles an hour. So, it has started to slow down a bit. It is still expected to make that northward turn as we head into, I'd say, the middle half of the week ahead. Plus, it could even get a little bit stronger yet again as we head into tomorrow. So it could become a cat four uh, as we head into tomorrow. Now, not only that, the size is going to change too. It's going to start to get bigger and bigger as we head into the next couple of days. So that's going to generate these swells along our coastline. And we're looking at five, six feet of surf for portions of the Treasure Coast and slightly lower than that for our Palm Beaches. This is going to start on Tuesday and then continue through Wednesday and into Thursday. But we are already watching for the chance of those high rip current risks for our Treasure Coast starting tomorrow. So watching for that along our beaches. Uh, also with the high surf, we do have the chance for dangerous boating conditions. Near shore seas of six to nine feet are expected for the Treasure Coast and even the possibility for minor beach and dune erosion. So we'll take another look at your week ahead coming up in just a few minutes. Now you can track the tropics and the local forecast with our WPTV First Alert weather team. Just scan that QR code on your screen to download our free WPTV news app.